Hey everybody, Dio from theasiangamer.com here with an updated, that's right, updated video on how to use our popular D3 damage calculator gear comparison tool. We've made a lot of revisions since the initial release of the 1.1 version of our calculator back in June. I figured it was about time I show people how to use our new calculator along with a couple of theoretical applications with an example profile to show people how they can make more informed decisions on the auction house. You can find the latest version of our calculator from the main site, theasiangamer.com. You can get there by clicking the D3 Damage Calculator link on the main menu bar of the site. Alternatively, you can click the permalink banner located on the sidebar of the homepage or any singular post. By popular demand, I placed our calculator on its own page with very minimal scrolling required. I know it still looks kind of plain, but I'm a function over fashion kind of guy. With our latest version, you can now pull data from your battle.net character profile with the import section on the top right of the calculator. Let's pull up this guy's profile over here. Hello, godlike. Let's see what you got. Okay, looks like he's a dual wielding monk. Hmm, pretty standard cyclone fist of thunder build. 117,333 damage. Hmm, not bad, I guess. Now we're going to grab his character profile link, copy it. Now we're going to go over to the damage calculator and paste it. Next we hit the import button. If it doesn't load immediately, just wait a bit. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. Okay, 117,333 damage is what is calculated. Look familiar? Yeah, baby. We made it match exactly with battle.net profiles. Now let's save his data to profile 5 for future usage. Green text saying profile saved will appear if you did it correctly. There are some bugs that we haven't squashed yet, so please double check your buffs, set bonuses, skill modifiers, as well as your character's paragon level to ensure accuracy. Pro tip, don't forget your followers. That's the number one mistake people tend to make with their calculator. If you log off with a follower, your damage will reflect having any of their auras applied to you. Okay, let's go over to Diablo 3 and test out an item to see how it changes Godlike's damage if you were to buy it. Hmm, the highest listed DPS weapon on the US auction house for one-handed weapons. Dual Crux, a pure physical damage sword. 620 minimum damage, 1241 maximum damage, and 11% increased attack speed. We don't need to worry about the 49% damage because that's already included in the white damage displayed on the weapon. Now we're going to go back to transfer that sword's information into the calculator. First we select one handed sword under the drop down menu, then we clear out his prime stat, 620 min damage, 1241 max damage, the new attack speed 11% and then we clear out the crit damage. The two boxes in this row are for usage with elemental damage bonuses. Since we're dealing with a pure physical weapon, the minimum damage is the same as the white display damage on the weapon. We're going to put 620 there since we don't know the exact decimal value, but it will give us a close enough approximation. This new pink box down here is for your elemental damage bonus or bonuses. Add up your values from Triumvirate or in his belt, or Wan Kim's Lao, or whatever you have, and put that info right there under buffs and skill modifiers. If you don't have any elemental damage bonuses, the minimum physical fields don't apply to you, so don't worry about it. Now it's time to hit the good old calculate button. So it turns out, replacing his current weapon with a sword that costs at least 50 million gold would have decreased his damage by 14,917, or an overall 12.71% loss. So don't be fooled, DPS numbers on weapons can definitely be misleading. Since we saved Godlike's data to Profile 5, we can just load it again to try another item out. Let's try this weapon I recently bought for 6 million gold. Wan Kim Lao. 1,035.7 DPS, 418 to 952 damage, 295 to 664 damage of it being lightning damage, 
209 dexterity, 8% increased attack speed, 5% lightning damage bonus, and lightning skills deal 19% more damage. This weapon's a little trickier because we have to determine the approximate minimum physical damage of the Wan Kim Lao. Okay, well, simplest way, let's take out a little Windows calculator here. Boom, it's 123. Okay, we get that number by taking 418 from the minimum displayed white damage and subtract the lightning damage from it, the minimum damage that is, which is 295. So, there you go, 123. That's the approximate minimum physical damage of the Wan Kim Lao. Okay, now it's just a matter of filling out the rest of the Wan Kim Lao stats, the dexterity, attack speed, etc. Then we add 5% elemental damage bonus to the existing bonuses if there are any, giving Godlike a potential 13% bonus elemental damage. Let's see the theoretical damage with the 19% lightning skills bonus. We'll insert the 19 into the box labeled plus percent damage. I'll elaborate more in just a sec. Before that though, it's time to hit the calculate button again. Godlike's damage would again decrease, this time by 3,833, an overall 3.27% loss if he had decided to buy this Wan Kim Lao. Goes to show how much crit chance and crit damage are worth in high quantities. Please note though, your damage number does not actually reflect the 19% lightning skills bonus on the Wan Kim Lao, so your damage will actually look like this. Without the 19 in the box, 95,378.16, a lot lower than what it actually gives you DPS-wise. Also note that my 19% calculation is pure speculation that it contributes a flat 19% damage increase. So don't blame me if your Wan Kim Lao turns out Wong Kim Lao. Don't forget to take a look at your specific stat equivalencies over on the bottom right of the calculator. Those boxes indicate how much plus damage you would get if you increase your character stats by those incremental quantities of prime stat, critical hit chance, and so forth. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I hope I explained the usage of a calculator a little better this time around. Maybe I even saved you some gold or money. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to email me at diralvasiangamer at gmail.com or leave a comment somewhere on our site and I'll get back to you. Also be sure to hit that like, tweet, pin it, Google Plus, or Reddit button on the bottom of the calculator to tell your friends about us.